Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to do a quick video that came as a request. And the request was to do or to show how to adjust the gas block on the Palmetto State Armory P10 Gen 3. Now, on the website, it states that it's a five position gas block. And that's a little mis misleading. So I pulled the set screw out because obviously it's more than five positions. But what they mean by five position is that on the, the screw here, I don't know if you see those little indentations right there. There's five of those indentations around and they're oblong. So what happens is when you adjust it, the screw is going in and out, covering up the gas port as it goes in and out, adjusting the amount of gas pressure that comes through. So while you have five individual stops it's not actually five positions that are available yeah you can adjust it quite a bit so if you adjust it counterclockwise all the way you can unscrew it all the way if you adjust it clockwise all the way you'll completely close off the gas system so with that being said uh, again this came as a request so I'm going to show you how I did it I'm not at the range so I'm not going to show you round by round Ammo's very expensive. I'm running lower on 308. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and adjust this camera and I'll show you the gas block. So, bear with me here. Alright. So, let's see if I get a good view of that. Mm. That might be good enough right there. Okay. So. This is your gas block right here, right? Let me move this just a little bit more. You see that, that gas block right there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this set screw back on, right? So you get this really long Allen key that comes with the rifle. And then we're going to go in. And I'm going to thread it in. Right? So you have to give it a little push to get it past the detent. There you go. So there's your first click. So I believe there's 26 clicks in this. So you got about 27 clicks because that's completely closed off right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to close it off completely, right? And you can do this however you, you feel is going to be beneficial to you um, for, for ammo conservation purposes. So you can go individually one notch at a time until you get that perfect ejection pattern or you can double or triple your steps or positions and then once you get reliable feeding and extracting you can fine tune which is what I did so again you can go one click at a time that's one and then take a shot and see what it's doing it's probably not even going to move or you can do say three three positions take a shot see if it extracts. If it doesn't extract, go another three. Once you get that point where you, you see the brass coming out, then you can back off a position or two at a time until it doesn't open up or it doesn't fully uh, cycle the bolt to extract the, the casing. And then fine tune it one click at a time from there and then once you have that perfect ejection, it's nice soft recoiling, then you should be good to go. Just, uh, you could memorize how many clicks, or like I did once I had it, I ran it all the way in, counted the clicks, and count, count back. So I know that I'm about 10 or 11 clicks um, from completely closed to set mine back to where it's supposed to be. So um, I hope that this helps. I'm sorry that I don't have the ammo to, to burn up where I can show you 
the process step by step and how to do it. But um, this is just a, a quick video that I figured I had the opportunity. I know I said Sunday would probably be when I do the video, but I had a little bit of a, a low time and I couldn't go to sleep. So I figured, you know what, let me go ahead and do this video real quick. So I hope this answers the question um, or answers uh, what you were looking for. If there's something that's missing that you are you want some more clarification for, you can leave those comments down uh, in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Um, this pertaining specifically to the person that requested this, but for anybody else that might have any other questions, you can go ahead and leave those down below and I will answer them the best that I can. So uh, have a good one and I will see you in the next video.